Hi there, folks. This is Levi Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your Class B and B Plus RV specialists. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com. That's truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. We'll put a direct link to this particular RV in the description below. If you follow that link, it's going to take you over to our website where you can see the pricing and the information on this unit. However, once this unit is sold, that link will be removed as that webpage is no longer live. We are a full service dealer. We do offer warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions on those, you can give us a call in our office at 419-899-2020. For sale today, we have a 2009 Road Trek 190 Popular. Alrighty, folks, we were inside of this Road Trek 190 Popular. This is a 2009 model here. It has 63,000 miles. As always, we're going to start at the front, make our way towards the rear of the coach. I'm then going to come back towards the front. I'm going to try to get you a few different angles so you can get a feel for the overall space as well as the overall condition. Both front seats here are leather. Both of them do swivel. Got a little bit of a mark there. I'm going to assume that's from the uh, armrest going up and down there, maybe. Uh, again, both front seats do swivel. You got your propane furnace there. This one here is your closet or wardrobe. That door swings towards the front, so we'll open that when we come back towards the front or here in just a second. We are a small family owned and operated dealership. My father started this business back in 1976. Myself and my brother Luke have taken over the day to day operations. So if you stop in, you're more likely going to meet me or Luke. We do consider ourselves to be no pressure sales place. And we welcome you to take as much time as you'd like touring this one or any one of our RVs. Again, passenger seat here is also leather and it does swivel as well and also has the exact same mark right there at the uh, armrest. This person from the factory opted for the uh, cabinet, the extra cabinet here, extra storage compartment. Uh, some of these did have a third seat here. This person obviously opted for the storage. Got several shelves. Got all of our manuals in a uh, three ring binder there. Directly above that, we have a light here for our porch light, a switch to turn on our inverter. We have 27 hours on our own and 2800 gasoline generator. Switch to turn on a water heater. Levels test switch, if we hold that, it's gonna light up these gauges. Water pump switch, and then our battery disconnect. This guy here is our fuse panel as well as circuit breakers. Smoke alarm on the wall right there. And now I'm gonna pull a 180 on you. One thing I wanna show you on this closet door. Um, it almost looks like a knot that uh, maybe it was a manufacturing defect or they didn't, it's not really human damage. It looks to me more like a knot that came uh, kind of come apart there. Uh, but anyways, this one can be used as a wardrobe or as storage. As you can see, you have the rack here to hang your clothes if you want to do that. If you're going to do that, you're going to remove the shelves and you can hang up your clothes in there. Two burner flush mount cooktop. You can put the lid down here. Gives you extra counter space. We've got a single basin kitchen sink. Again, cover on top of that for when you need the counter space. Got a nice stainless backsplash behind the cooktop there, a window behind the sink. Storage overhead. Road Trek, as well as with most of the Class B manufacturers, do a wonderful job of utilizing every square inch of space that they can for storage. Microwave oven. Got a drawer. This is a Dometic three-way refrigerator. This will run on 12 volt electricity, 110 volt electricity, or propane gas. It does have the small freezer compartment up top. Underneath the two burner cooktop next to the fridge, we've got some more storage there. This does have the typical Road Trek aisle shower. Door is behind here. Uh, that door swings towards the front, so I'm going to show you that on the way towards the front of the coach. This uh, mirrored or window glass front cabinet here uh, houses the shelving for storage as well as your surround sound DVD player. TV remotes on the lower shelves there. On the passenger side, another cabinet with more storage. Being the popular floor plan, uh, this is intended to sleep two people per manufacturer specs um, north and south with the unit. 
I'm gonna run the bed down here, which is power. As you can see, we do have a few seat belts there in the rear of the coach, uh, per the tag. In the door, this has six seat belts, which would be one, two, three. The two in the front, the sixth would have been the optional chair. So of course, they didn't opt for the chair. So we only have five seat belts in here. So you can seat five passengers with belts. Um, being the popular floor plan, this is intended to sleep north to south. Lengthwise here, one person there, one person there. If you want to fill in this area here with the table, you can use the table, sit on the ledge, fill this in, rearrange your cushions to fill in this area, and you can make one large bed. If you do that, you can sleep one person, two person, and three people. Or if you wanted to, you can sleep one, two, three. If it's just the two of you, most people would prefer to sleep this way. We've got the width of the bed up here for your shoulders, the wider part of your body, down here where your feet are going to be. It's nice and easy to kick your feet out, get out of bed in the middle of the night if you got to use the restroom. Again, this is power. I'm going to run this back up here for you. Got a cup holder on the sidewall. The smaller portion, the lower portion of the window here does open. Surround sound speakers, 110 outlet, uh, seat belt, which is for one of the lap belts on either corner. There are three, again, three seat belts in the back, two in the front for a total of five. 19 inch flat screen TV there underneath the cover. I did forget the Cool Cat heat pump directly above me. Uh, I'm sure you've seen on the way back towards the back of the coach is the Cool Cat heat pump. That Cool Cat heat pump is going to give you electric heat down to a certain certain outside ambient temperature. The controls for that are right here. That's going to control the heat pump, the air conditioning, the furnace, all in one thermostat. So that's going to give you electric heat down to roughly 40 degrees outside temperature. Anything below that, you are going to have to use the propane furnace to cool you down. The Cool Cat heat pump is also going to give you your air conditioning. The cushions on the back wall here, that's what you're going to use to fill in the center section to make the bed into the large bed. Uh, we do have carpet in the back here. You can see that there's one uh, mostly here, but there's a lightly stained here. Soiled area. Um, we did steam clean this as we do with all of our units. That did not come out uh, as nicely as I would liked, but it is as light as we could get it. Uh, my friend quit the donut factory the other day. He was tired of the whole business. I'm going to show you the wet bath now. So this door here is actually a two-piece door, which is probably going to try to close on me. Nope, it stopped. Okay, so we got these little turnstiles here. We can turn those. You can see there's a double hinge on the door, one on that side and one on this side. So this part of the door is actually going to flip open and fill in this gap here. It's going to give you privacy towards the front of the coach. And then this cabinet here, um, I believe, should have, yes, a, another thing similar to that that you can fold out to give you your privacy towards the rear of the coach. We do try to point everything out that we see. Uh, we got a little bit of a, a scuff mark on this cabinet here. But anyways, back to the shower. So if you're not familiar with the Road Trek shower, the way that this works, this here is just a rug. You can lift this up. You can kind of see the gray area here on the side. This is a large fiberglass form drain pan. It goes all the way up to here. There's a trench drain right here. So you're going to stand in this area right here while you take your shower. Toilet paper is included. You're going to stand in the aisle. You're going to pull the shower curtain out around you while you're showering. You can turn on the fantastic fan to exhaust any steam or heat. That also works to nice circulate the air through here in the mornings and evenings. Even during the middle of the day, it keeps it relatively comfortable in here. If you kick on that fantastic fan. So you're going to stand in the aisle and take your shower. When you get done, dry off, drop your towel on the floor, and dry the floor up, and you are ready to get back to camping. Got our shower valve, shower curtain, shower head. Most of you have watched our videos and you're familiar with the way that the Road Trek shower works. If not, give us a call. Happy to explain it to you in a little more detail if that did not make sense. We have been extremely busy. We do appreciate all of our loyal YouTube followers and subscribers out there. Please like, comment, and share on this video. We do want your feedback. Um, things have been moving very quickly. So if you want to put a hold on this one, give us a call so we can get a deposit from you. This is a 2009 with 63,000 miles. Uh, a couple little blemishes that I pointed out, but nothing major. Uh, just a little bit of normal wear and tear. I'm going to call this thing a 9 on a scale of 1 to 10. Nice clean unit. Outside shined up very nicely. Interior cleaned up very well. Just a couple minor things. Uh, the backup camera does show up on the head unit here. Chevy 3500 chassis, power windows, locks, tilt, cruise, 
all the goodies up front here. If you have any questions on this one, give us a call at Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976. Alrighty folks, we're gonna run around the outside of this Road Trek 190 Popular. We are 20 and a half feet from bumper to bumper. We have four brand new tires, an 11 foot awning. This does sit on the Chevy 3500 chassis. It is powered by the six liter Vortec V8 engine. Nice and clean and straight on the outside here. And door number one here, we have the coach battery, which is on a slide out tray. There is a second lo coach battery located behind this panel here. Gonna remove this thumb screw. This panel is gonna lift up and off of there. So there is a second coach battery located behind that panel. As you can see, it is nice and straight and shiny down the passenger side here. Coming around to the rear of the coach, we've got the tow package. We are missing the spare tire. We did not get that with this unit, so that will not be going with it as we did not get it. We've got the backup camera up top. Gasoline tank right here. Vent and access to our water heater. Vent and access to the back of our refrigerator. We'll pop back here quick. You can see the exhaust for the generator. You can kind of see the corner of the cabinet of the generator there. It's tucked underneath the unit. Here we have our city water connection right here. Our outside shower valve. A decent sized storage compartment. Shore power cord is coiled up there. We've got an extension cord, a couple of adapters shower hose as well as a fresh water hose and we do have a macerator pump on this one hose is coiled up back here a uh, button there turns on the macerator pump then you have your black and gray water valves and lastly the vent for your propane furnace. <music>